Hey guys, welcome to Game Inform Family. This is Game Inform Mom, and today we are going to be talking about something that shock Final Fantasy XIV does not explain very well. I'm talking they introduce the system, tell you that it exists, sort of, and then they just leave you to your own devices to figure it out on your own. And that would be glamour plates. A lala fell just fell from the sky behind us. Anyway. Uh, glamour plates. There are people who A. Don't know they exist or B. Don't know what they are or how to use them. So I'm here to help you figure it out. Now I'm gonna break down the video into sections uh, because I'm gonna go over a couple of things before you get to the point where you would use a glamour plate for people who don't know how to use the glamour system. I'm just kinda gonna gloss over some things but I will have timestamps in the description as well as chapters on the uh, the little red bar if you're on a, a uh, version that will allow you to see those but there will be timestamps in the description either way uh, so that you can click around to what you actually need to know versus what I may or may not be talking about first and speaking of the first thing we are going to talk about is how to actually unlock the glamour system so to, full, to have full access to the glamour system of Final Fantasy XIV, you're going to need to complete a couple of quests. Those quests are from Swire, Swire Game, Swear Game, I don't know, whatever her name is. They're from her. Uh, so the first quest that you're going to need to complete is a level 15 quest here in Vesper Bay. It is called If I Had a Glamour. And that will actually unlock the glamour system. Uh, this is a very simple quest. You're going to talk to Swirgeem. Then she is going to send you over this way to speak to Folkland right here. She's going to give you some blood orange juice. And then you're going to take it back to Swirgeem. And boom, quest is done. Now I've already unfortunately done these quests. So I can't show you the actual quest itself. But... I do know that that is absolutely what has to be done. The second is another level 15 quest from the same NPC called Color Your World. This is another simple fetch quest, but this time all you have to do is go back to the NPC right back here, buy some orange juice, you buy a bottle of orange juice, and then bring it back to Swirgeem, at which point you're done. You give it to her and the quest unlocks the ability to dye your gear as well as supplying you with a few starter dyes to get your feet wet. Now there's a third quest that you can also grab from Swergeim that is completely optional and this quest is called If I Had a Glamour. No, this quest is not called If I Had a Glamour. This quest is called Absolutely Glamorous. My mistake. Uh, it is also a level 15 quest. However, you have to have a level 15 crafter, any crafter other than culinarian. Uh, the quest is you speak to Swergeim and she will send you back to Falkland. This time you get a different kind of juice, you take it back to Swergeim, but there's more. This time she's going to walk, she's going to send you over to Gober, Goberin over here with a letter. You give the letter to Goberin and you have access to the crafting of glamours, of glamour prisms. He will sell you clear glamour prisms, where are they? Right there. As well as the master books for all of the available crafters that you can use. Culinarian is not an option. Uh, you can also buy glamour dispellers here, we'll get into that in a second. Alright, so Simple as that, you have now unlocked every aspect of the glamour system that you need. Now, once you actually do those three quests, now you get into the, the nitty gritty part. So, first let's talk about what you actually need to use the glamour system. Now, dyes are optional. You know, let's just go there first. You don't have to dye your gear, you can just leave it whatever color it was. But you will definitely need glamour prisms to glamour your gear or to set up glamour plates. So 
glamour prisms can be acquired in a few different ways. Um, one is from your Grand Company Quartermaster for 200 seals each. Uh, from the Wolf's Den Provisioner, if you're into PvP, for 100 wolf marks each. And, of course, crafting. Uh, beyond that, there are 17 different quests, ranging from level 15 to level 59, that will reward you with glamour prisms. And you, m you can also purchase them from the market board, from other players. The quest that actually unlocks the glamour system will give you 12 glamour prisms to get you started. Now, you may at some point need the glamour dispeller that I had mentioned over at Goberin, uh, but that's not necessary. Uh, it does exactly what it sounds like it would do. It removes the glamour from a piece of gear. Uh, those can be purchased for 200 Grand Company seals as well. Um, other merchants that would be able to sell that to you are Rorich, Rorich, in, no, Rorich, in Ulda at the Ruby Road Exchange, Mesent in Gridania at the Knot, Bango Zango in Limsa Lominsa at the Octant, and, of course, Goberin. Additionally, there are four quests ranging from level 17 to level 50 that will reward you with Glamour Dispellers. Uh, again, these are not essential and are really only needed if you make some sort of mistake and need to remove a glamour from a piece of gear. So, for the next thing, we are going to relocate ourselves to Ulda. Um, you can go to any of the major cities for this, but uh, the next thing is what and where are glamour dressers and armoires. So I will bring you guys back in just a moment once we are where we need to be. Okay, so first we're going to address where you can find a glamour dresser and an armoire, which are right behind me. So in any city where there is an inn, whoops, you can find an armoire and a glamour dresser. Cities with inns would be Ulda, Limsa... Gridania, eventually you get Foundation, and there are others, but they have to have an inn. The other option, you don't necessarily have to go to an inn, you could also go to your Grand Company Barracks, which you have to have unlocked, of course, but uh, that is only in Limsa Lominsa, Gridania, or Ulda, so, I mean, still kind of the same places. Uh, but they, there is a glamour dresser and an armoire in the barracks. Otherwise, the inn is usually at the Adventurer's Guild. Not always, but usually. Well, the other ones in Foundation, it's not really an Adventurer's Guild per se. It doesn't really matter. They're at the Adventurer's Guild or at the barracks. So, what is the difference? Huh. Well, the armoire over here, this lovely little piece of trash. No, um, this is for artifact gears and limited availability gears, such as timed event gears. Like, for example, uh, artifact gears, I've got my um, bard set here, and then I've got stuff like the yokai watch, which was a timed event a couple of months ago, a few months ago, I guess now. Uh, I've also got my New Year's event gears here. Uh, you can have achievement gears here, which I don't have any in here right now because I'm actually still wearing them. And then exclusive extras would be the stuff from like the Veterans Reward um, or the Collector's Edition special items. Uh, Mog Station gears, like the clothing that you buy on the Mog Station, does not go in your armoire. Which I find to be very odd, but that is the case. Now the Glamour Dresser. Ah, the wonderful Glamour Dresser. This is for all of that and all of the other gears that you pick up throughout your adventures in Eorzea. That being said, if it can go in the armoire, it should go in the armoire. Because that will save space in your Glamour Dresser. Because you only have, at the time of this recording, room for 400 pieces inside the dresser. Now, that was recently doubled 
uh, from 200 that was previously available. So we're doing really good. We should be happy. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, not a whole lot can go into the armoire. But it's better than nothing. So use it. Now, I've actually got some pieces in my glamour dresser that should be in my armoire, but I just haven't moved them over. Now, you will need a couple of things. Well, actually, you will need one thing. You will need glamour prisms. Where are my glamour prisms? There's my clear prisms. There's my dispellers. Ah, there we go. So we're going to remove these. Uh, we're going to put just some random piece of gear in there just so that you can see. All right, so we're going to right click on the glamour dresser. And we are going to put in, I don't really care. Let's find something. Uh, let's find something that we could put on. Here we go, all classes. So it's level 50 though. I want something. Here we go. We will put in a red violet. Oops. Don't right click on it. Just left click on it. A red violet. Whatever this is. Corsage. Alright. So using a glamour prism on the selected item and placing it into the glamour dresser will result in a spirit bond of zero and condition 100%. This will remove signatures, materia, and most ethereal bonuses. What that means is signatures would be like if I made this item it has my name on it if you care about that then don't put it in the glamour dresser I personally really don't care but uh, it will also remove materia so if you have materia on your gear make sure you remove it before you put it in the glamour dresser because when it removes it it does not give it back to you all right so let's throw that in there Okay, and what it did was it used one of my glamour prisms. Don't at me about my inventory. All right, so we now have five. We had six before. Now, now that we have it in there, let's actually make a glamour plate. Now here's where, here's where things get a little bit hairy, guys. We're going off script for this because we're just gonna make a glamour plate here. All right, so I've got a couple of glamour plates here that are for other things. Um, I've got, I, I'm currently using four. You have up to 15. Well, I mean, do the math. There are more than 15 jobs, so good luck with that. All right, so we're gonna start off a brand new glamor plate. And we are going to do this glamor plate for a crafter, which means we do not have a weapon to use. Uh, we are going to use some brass spectacles and we will use the Curl Talisman. Um, well, yeah, we'll put those on, because why not? Uh, pants. I'm already wearing these pants, so I will do the Skyrat pants. I mean, obviously I'm wearing Skyrat pants, but um, it'll make sense later. Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these shoes on. To show you what happens if you put a piece of gear that you can't use. And I'll explain that in just a second. Let's get some pieces in everything. I, I don't have other rings, so but it'll be alright. So what you're looking at, like the brass spectacles, all classes, minimum or minimum level 13. Not item level, but the level at the bottom, level 13. Um all classes level one. All classes level one. These were expensive, by the way. All classes level one. Also expensive. These, however, say all classes level 60. Now, that's not based on the class of your... I'm sorry, the level of your... Uh, your character on that job. That's based on the level of the gear that you are currently wearing. Alright, um... Uh, all classes 28 and then these are all emperor's new items ring bracelet necklace they're all level one all classes so what we're gonna do we've decided what we want to do you can also put a weapon but because i'm using a crafter i don't i don't have one available right now i mean not in the oh, excuse me not in the glamour dresser so we're gonna go ahead and save it and yes we want to save it 
Okay, we're gonna close all of this out. And let's see, we are going to be washed out. Switch to a crafter. Let's go. I need somebody with not level 60 footwear. All right. So, what I am currently wearing is level 60 footwear. Dang it. All right. Let's go with leather worker then. All right. I have level 50 footwear on. Which means that the footwear that I put on will not work. So what we are going to do now, sorry, brain farted there for a second. We're going to go to Glamour Plate here, and we are going to select Glamour Plate 5, and we are going to apply it. Now, you can see in, oh, in my... <laughs> In my chat log uh, that I cast all the glamours and it does that every time I've got to see if I can get a see if I can fix the macro to not do that but for right now it just does it now, as you can see though the footwear is not the right footwear because like I said you can't wear it so now my character is looking crazy right so I've actually got it set up I've got a macro set up so that when I change jobs it changes to a specific glamour plate um, I will as I learn more about macros I can make a video about that but for right now we're not gonna really get into that uh, but I will show you how to set it up so that it does go to a specific glamour plate all right we're gonna remove this one because I can all right so first let's close this because it's not gonna let us do it all right so this is my gunbreaker my gunbreaker currently looks like oh uh, well yeah my gunbreaker currently looks like this we're not gonna talk about it that is because something has the wrong color or yeah probably the wrong color but uh it, that doesn't matter right now so we're gonna right click on gunbreaker and we are going to link a glamour plate and we can't link that one because that won't do anything we will link glamour plate five so i've selected five and then link gear set so now, every time I switch to my Gunbreaker from another class, it is going to be looking like this. What was that leather worker that we did? So my leather worker is back to normal because I've got the gear plate set up to gear plate 4, not gear plate 5. But my Gunbreaker now looks like this. He stretches as part of his macro, don't, don't worry about it. Alright, so that's how you set up not only the glamour plate, but also the, you can link the glamour plate to the gear set for every job. Now, you can link one glamour plate to multiple gear sets. Where are we? Here we go. Um, all of my crafters and gathers are set to glamour plate floor floor yes that's what I wanted to say glamour plate four except for my fisherman who has different uh, different glamour my red mage is glamour plate one my bard is glamour plate three it's all very easy the system is really really deep but it doesn't have to be complicated now I want to talk about one more thing before we go and that is dies all right, first, let's see. Let's grab a couple of dyes here. We're gonna get sea fog blue, and uh, uh, we'll get marsh green too, because why not? All right, so with dyeing, there are two different ways that you can dye in regards to your glamour dresser and your fashion plate, your glamour plates, sorry. There's 
putting it on the actual piece of gear and then there's putting it on the glamour plate itself. Now there are various reasons that you may want to uh, leave the gear, say this particular piece of gear. I'm going to try it on so you can see that it is red. Um, there are any number of reasons to leave it red, like maybe that's the original color. It's not, it was black, but maybe you want to have it be the original color because you're going to dye the other ones different colors. And I say the other ones by what, what I mean is the glamour plate versions of it. Because you only have one of them. But you can actually have the same piece of gear be three different colors, four different colors, eight different colors, 15 different colors. You can have them on all 15 of your glamour plates. Now... That's kind of weird, but hey, whatever floats your boat, right? So I've got Strife pants, or Strife bags. They are black. That is their original color. This is what they look like. This is what they always look like because none of my glamour plates are dyed. Now I can right click on this one, dye it one of these other colors. That will make it so that Every time that that piece of gear is used, unless the glamour plate is dyed a different color, they will be that color. All right, so we're going to leave them black. And then we are going, whoops, I need it in there. Edit glamour plates. So we are going to go to glamour plate four, which is where uh, this particular piece of gear resides. And we are going to dye it, oh, what an ugly color. There we go. We are going to dye it green. So now I've, I've scaled this up. If you right click up here at the top of the window, this little, you can scale the window to a larger size. I'm old and blind, so I needed to scale it up a little bit, okay? Uh, so we're going to dye them marsh green. So you pick your color. Marsh green, apply this dye, and then you're going to, it's going to reflect on your glamour plate. You do need to save it. Yes, I want to save it. And then we are actually going to switch here. And we are going to go with the blue. Uh, where is it? There we go. All right, and we are going to reflect sea fog blue dye on this glamour plate. And it is confirming, you know, it's telling you that you are going to use one of your dyes. Are you sure you want to do that? So now four will be green, five will be blue. And I guess we should put it there as well. All right, so. Every time you save a glamour plate, it does not use a glamour crystal. It only uses a, a glamour, glamour prism. Why do I keep calling it a crystal? It only uses a prism when you put it in the glamour dresser or in the armoire. So you will save a ton, a ton of glamour prisms by using the glamour dresser and the armoire. All right, so we are going to switch to glamour plate four and they are, voila, green. Glamour plate five, they are blue. And glamour plate six, which is the undyed version, will be still black. Now, what was that, Gunbreaker? They are blue. So, there are a couple of reasons that you might want to, you know, like I said, leave the original color intact. Um, by doing that, you can actually save yourself dyes if you dye the original, if you want them all to be the same color. Now, like this example, they were all different colors, but if they were all going to be sea fog blue, then they should all, then you should just dye the original. You know, if you're going to have one blue, one red, one the original color, then, I mean, obviously you don't want to buy three pairs of the same thing. And that takes up three spots in your glamour dresser. So, you know, there's that. Um, I think that's everything about glamour plates. Um, oh, you know what? No, it's not. So the only places that you can 
alter your glamour plates are here in like Ulda, Gridania, um, Limsa Limsa, Foundation, anywhere with an N, like I said before. That also means those are also the only places that you can apply a glamour plate. So say I'm wearing this right now and I got, I don't know, do I have any other pants he can wear? Oh yeah, I got plenty of other pants he can wear. Alright, so I got these. It, these This was a drop in, in a dungeon. This It's it's not. These are probably, yeah, these are gathering pants, but it's okay. So I've got this. These are, these are awesome. These are better than what I had on. I want to wear them. And, oh god, now I look like a hot mess. You can't apply your glamour plate unless you're in one of those main cities. So if you're in a dungeon, you can't apply a glamour plate. Of course, in a dungeon, you can't apply a gear set because you can't change jobs. If you're in, say, Vesper Bay, you can't apply a, a glamour plate. You can apply a gear set, but not a glamour plate. If your gear set is different from your glamour plate, it just won't apply the glamour. It'll look like whatever gear excuse me whatever gear you now have on so that is one thing to keep in mind if you do equip new gear you're gonna you might look like a hot mess and you know being that end game in final fantasy 14 is glamour you might not want to look like a hot mess so maybe think before you equip that bright new shiny piece of gear that's ugly because you might end up looking like this yeah. Yeah, see, now you look like this. Alright, guys. That has been how to use glamour plates in Final Fantasy XIV. If you have any questions or there's something that I didn't really go over very well, please leave a comment in the, in the, you know, under the video down there. You know, you know where it's at. You're not new here. Uh, leave me a comment. I will try to answer any questions that you have. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button. That really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next episode.